we got it uh, so that foot right under there was being a bit stubborn so I had to use this piece of wood wedged against our uh, boom gallows support here driving it down to push that back enough to get the screws in but we got it now we're gonna see if we can get some uh, get some nuts on the back of those screws and uh, all right let's see all right Tammy's got her handy dandy screwdriver Tammy's gonna be outside holding the uh, holding the hardware still while I put the nuts on the underside right do it. Let's do it. Our aft cabin is torn apart now. Look at all this carnage. We've got the ceiling panels taken down so that we can get access up inside the bulwarks there to try to get some hardware on the back of all those bolts that we just put in. I can't, I'm clearly looking at the bolts right there. Ah, they're only about a foot away from my eyeballs. I can't get my hand in this. <laughs> Seems like it'd be easy, but this is tough. Definitely wouldn't be able to do it without Tamby. Tamby's been outside holding everything while I'm tightening it on the inside. And it's working, but wow, this is hard. It is one nice luxury is being able to do it in here where it's air conditioned. So the front two feet on either side are accessible within the air conditioned cabin and the back two feet we're gonna have to go into what I can only really refer to lovingly as the hell hole. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yeah? that is one hot sweaty manhole. Yes, it is. The push pit is installed. It took us four hours longer than we had anticipated in order to get this done, but that is uh, just kind of the way it goes. Looks good, feels good having this up here. Man, all right, making progress. Now, you're gonna change gears a bit and work on a related project and it is related because in order to complete this project uh, we need the whole aft cabin taken apart this boat actually does not have aft cleats it has midship cleats and forward cleats no aft cleats um, but we're going to be installing these in a way that is somewhat i don't know i, I say it's unorthodox um, we're actually going to install these outboard of the boat on the outside of the hull up near the top on the back of the boat So these are actually going to be sitting sideways on the back of the boat and uh, You know if we were going to do this the completely proper our you know preferred way we, we would be installing some of those nice bronze uh, um, uh, hose pipes that go through the bulwarks but for one thing those are really expensive it requires cutting huge holes in the boat and it takes a lot of time to install those things so um, we don't want to do all that stuff right now so what we're going to do is we're going to install this guy on the outside of the boat using this big backing plate made out of fiberglass and epoxy i made two of these so these are going to go inside the hull to reinforce uh, and make just a really nice backing plate for the cleat so it's going to be something like that with the hole you know sitting between it so essentially this thing is going to have roughly i don't know three quarters of an inch or something like that of solid fiberglass that it's bolted to so i think that should be plenty strong
How's it looking, baby? Pretty good. This stuff is not coming off as as good as I would like. <laughs> Tammy's cleaning up the butyl <laughs> tape. It's all right. With a little like acetone or alcohol, it kind of yeah. it might help get it off of there a bit more. It's all right. We can clean it up. Okay. It might actually help if you broke that stick to give yourself a a sharper, you know, edge. She can get. Ow! Of course, hurt myself in the process. <laughs> all right, one cleat on. I don't think we're going to show the process for the other one because it's going to be exactly the same. Did you just say we're over here? Hey, there she is. Hi. Molly says hello, everybody. This, hello. this is our nightly phone call with Molly. We usually Hi. we usually talk to her two or three times during the day, but we're telling her we're telling her good night. So yeah, we talk to Molly every night on a little Facebook messenger call. It's mainly just wanted to show everybody the state of our aft cabin right now. It looks a bit crazy. Got it all taken apart so that we could work up inside the little works there. We're going to be working on it some more tomorrow, so it doesn't make sense to put it all back together. But we had to do something temporary so that we could sleep, so that we so we taped everything up with painter's tape. <laughs> Ta-da! Hopefully it doesn't like come loose and fall on top of me at night. In the middle of the night? In the dark? In the dark. The might freak out a little a, a bit. A big crinkly monster falls on top of you. Yes. At least it's not wet anymore. That's true. Yeah. All right. Tell everybody good night. Good night. Installed, ready to use. Not quite. Nope. Uh, all right. All right. I'm gonna try to get this piece of hardware on the back side of that bolt, way up inside the bulwark, using this boroscope camera. And let's see how it goes. Let's see. Where's the? Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, we're touching it down a little. Over a little. Down a little more. All right, I think we got it. Let's see. Wait, that is loosening. Wait, no. Yes, all right, now we're tightening. We've got that small cleat installed in there, and I off camera installed one that was up inside the engine room to match that one on the other side. Tammy's just up here. Oh, hello. Tammy's just up here cleaning them up now. How do they look? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Those got a good squish. Tammy kind of likes butyl tape. I do. She, say, she says it's kind of like Play Doh. Mm -hmm. It comes off the um, freshly painted cap rail really nicely. Yeah. So does it stick more to the stainless? Uh, yeah. Huh. And it sticks more. It's stuck more to the blue paint on the other than it does to this new paint. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. That looks good. Oh yeah.
Okie dokie, so here's what's going on here. We're gonna be reinstalling those cheek blocks next onto the cap rail up there. So I found actually this stuff inside the boat and I don't know exactly what it is, but it's made out of fiberglass. So I cut some pieces off. I'm gonna laminate these things together and these are gonna be our backing plates. That's about a half inch thick backing plate. Minimize the areas that we can glue it to the bench. Okay. Nicely done. All right, we have the holes drilled for the large turning blocks that we're about to install on either side of the boat. Tammy is about to butyl tape these bolts up. Just off camera to the right, we have Mike, but he's opted not to be on camera. So say hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. <laughs> Oh. He's over there, right, Tammy? He's there. Okay. What's he look like? Describe him. Describe him with great accuracy so everybody can know what he looks like, even he though we're not going to show him. to know what he looks like. Uh, okay, describe him completely falsely then. <laughs> all right, I'll describe him. All right, he's, he's really tall. He's, uh, he's dressed all in black. He has a black cape on with tall pointy black ears. Like Batman? And long hair. Well, no, 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 not, not, not at all like Batman, but he drives in a big long black car with a jet engine on the back. He has a sidekick whose name is similar to uh, some kind of a bird. But, <laughs> does that, is that accurate, Mike? That's spot on, man. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Going to the back one? Yeah. Okay, okay. Success. We've got that cleat mounted, got this turning block mounted, the push pit is on, got that turning block mounted, and got that cleat mounted. Uh, thank you to Mystery Mike for helping us out with those turning blocks. That was handy. I know you guys didn't get to see him, but he really was there. He was there. Wasn't he, Tammy? He was. All right, what's next? Uh, we're gonna put the aft cabin back together, put our beds back together, take showers, and get dinner. That's next. All right, we are pretty much done here. We have uh, the little cleats installed. We've got those installed. We've got the aft push pit installed, and uh, it has been a, uh, a much more difficult uh, trip and task than we thought it was going to be. But we got through it. It took us much longer than we thought it would. Yeah, it did. Just lots of little hurdles and trying to get uh, hardware up into all kinds of difficult to reach places. I don't know if I've thoroughly explained this setup. We are not reusing the sail tracks, which are up there currently. Instead, we are just going to use this turning block for the head sail sheet and that cleat. And we're going to rig what's called a barber hull. And the barber hull is going to be used to adjust the sail shape. So we're gonna give that a shot. It's a bit of an experiment. We're gonna hang on to the uh, the tracks and everything in case it you know doesn't work out or we don't like it or we wanna change something, whatever. But we're gonna try it. But the whole reason we're doing this, or a big reason, is just for simplicity and to eliminate a load of holes that would be put in that cap rail to mount the, uh, the sail track. Right. But we're gonna pull together some numbers real quick concerning just uh, this cap rail project and share them with you. So stand by. Days worked. 15. And uh, of those 15 days, how many man hours? 110. This is how many hours it took driving from home to here? 70 hours. 70 hours, totaling? 4,140 miles. Uh-huh. And then it took three gallons of epoxy. How many bottles of water did we drink? 
About 135. <laughs> 135. <laughs> Took 20 yards of fiberglass to do the three layers, um, you know, that we put on top of the cap rail. Paint. One quart of paint. Mm -hmm. Just one quart. Yeah. We actually have some left over mm -hmm. for touch up. I'm so glad that the cap rail is done. Why? Why? Because now all of the projects that we had originally planned can get done. Because this was kind of a surprise. That's right. Um, I mean, I mean those... we knew there were leaks, but the we didn't know we would have to redo the entire cap rail. So we make these trips to the boat every two weeks. Every other weekend we're down here at the boat. I am, Tamby, you know, whatever. So that basically took, uh, let's see if it was five trips, how, how long did it take? 10 weeks. Yeah, it took 10 weeks, you know, time-wise from beginning to end to do this project, mm -hmm. you know, based on us making trips every two weeks. Yeah. 10 weeks is what it took, so two and a half months. Yeah, that's a lot of time we could have been doing other things. That's okay. But it's we, all right, it needed to be done. It needed to be done, and we, we feel good about where we're at. We, we still feel like we're gonna be able to splash towards the end of the year, but. Yeah. Now we're gonna get on uh, working on the fuel tank. Mm -hmm. That's what I was working on immediately before we went after this cap rail project. So now it's back to the fuel tank. Yep, so that's next. That's what's next. All right, wrap that up. All right, we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for watching this week's episode. We hope you enjoyed it. Now we have a few new patrons we want to thank, and they are Tom, Chris, Terrence. Thank you guys for becoming new patrons. We also got something from our Amazon wish list, and that is paint rollers from Sunny. It's backwards. <laughs> oh. All right, there we go. There, there, there we have it now. How's that? Is that good, Molly? <laughs> all right, well that's all we have for this week. Thank you for watching the episode. And we'll see you next time. See you next time. Bye. <laughs> Bye. See you next time. <laughs>